Welcome to 26th of December's Godly Blessing. I hope your Christmas was a beautiful, joyful and loveful event. And I hope you were giving out the love and the joy which everybody is seeking. And instead of asking for it. And that's what we discussed in yesterday's session which we went on live about overcoming fear. You can look at that session with the link which is going to be given up here. Do go ahead and do spread this beautiful session to others also, which includes a meditation session too. So let's go ahead with today's Godly Blessing. God says that it is important to change the habit, just like we spoke about the habit of asking for love, asking for peace and asking for happiness in our life. And that brings about a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear within us. Similarly, God says that it is important to change the sanskars or the habits. And they can be done through yoga, not the physical yoga, but the connection with the Supreme Creator is also known as Yoga. So let's see, let's understand in details what does God have to say. In today's blessing, God says, May you become a world transformer and transform your own sanskars. Sanskar means habits by experimenting with the power of yoga at the appropriate time. God says, Just as you are capable of, capable of having yoga and conducting yoga in the same way, become just as capable in experimenting with yoga doing yoga having yoga and conducting yoga it's all about doing meditation or connection with god it's like you can actually do a commentary of meditation and help and guide people to move towards meditation and move closer to god but god says what about your own experimentation are you experimenting or not so here god says first of all experiment with the power of yoga on your sanskars because your elevated sanskars are the foundation for the creation of the elevated world that means am i using the power of connection with the supreme creator to change my subtle behaviors whether it's irritation whether it's frustration whether it's getting annoyed whether it's becoming moody or whether it's any habit or sanskar can i change that or have i applied the power of meditation or connection with god which is also known as raja yoga in changing those sanskars. How do you do that? Is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris first. You have to do the seven day course and understand it in details. Let's go ahead. So check. Is any sanskar deceiving me at any time? Let's say I was supposed to have a joyous day today and certain behavior of someone triggered anxiety in me or triggered an irritation in you. Is that trigger coming from a past life experience, coming from this life experience, 10 years back something happened to you, or is it coming from our own lack of tolerance? Let's experiment that. God says, no matter what the situation, person or atmosphere may be, do not alter your elevated sanskars. That means your elevated habits. Elevated habits would be peace, calmness, stability, or make them ordinary or wasteful. Or make them ordinary or wasteful just like everybody does so what I also got irritated because that was something to be got to be irritated about that is an ordinary way or a wasteful way of thinking about those situations or that person so God says don't let them be ordinary then God says those who transform their own sanskars become instruments to transform the world so first I have to experiment and this experimentation, no matter how you try hard, without having the connection with the Supreme Purifier, the Supreme Energy, who is the purest of all, it's difficult to change any sanskar. And especially the sanskars, they change when we do meditation early in the morning. Very early in the morning. 4 o'clock. If you can't do it right now, do go ahead and learn the 7 day course and slowly over a period of time, the zeal enthusiasm and the power will come in but first take the first baby steps to know more about it do visit your brahma center near you with the som shanti